Um, yeah, he, well, Coach Slosh's big thing is to, uh, is our, our big saying is the hourglass. When we're playing, we're in the hourglass, we're practicing, we're in the hourglass, and then when we're not, you know, get away from it all, get outside the hourglass and just enjoy it and soak it all up um, and just have a good time. And that's basically what he's been sharing with us is to soak it all in because it's so hard to get there um, and it's going to be awesome and uh, it'll be an incredible atmosphere and all that type of stuff. But when we're playing baseball to take care of business and get after it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the hourglass, the shape of the hourglass, um, that's kind of like, you know, when you're in the top of the hourglass, you know, you kind of stay out of, uh, you, you let go of baseball for a little bit, you know, you relax um, when school is going on, you focus on school, whatever it may be, you kind of, you know, forget about it, get away from the game. And as soon as that thing starts coming back down, um, you know, you're getting yourself prepared, ready to go. And right in the middle of the hourglass is kind of when, uh, you know, the game's going on, our first pitch. And, after the game's over, it slowly, you know, comes back down, and you kind of let it, let it go and start preparing for the next one. So, um, you know, it's something that's really helped us, you know, stay calm throughout the entire season, and, and you now we really embraced it. You got to be, a, you have to have a split personality. I want you to be a fan when it's time to be a fan, and I want you to enjoy the heck out of being a fan. But when it's time to do baseball, we got to do baseball. And the teams that I think can separate those do the best. And I've heard of teams that go up there and they try to do baseball all the time and keep the kids from all the other stuff. And you're crazy if you think that's going to happen. It happens. And we work too hard and sacrifice too much to not enjoy every ounce of what's going on up there. But we're going up there to, to be successful, not to you know have a party. If the TCU contingent who's going to be traveling up to Omaha, what do you tell the players about appreciating what the dedication that they're showing? For the team? Well, they already appreciate what happened this past weekend. You know, so you know the World Series up there. It's it's actually. No disrespect, it's a little bit lighter of an atmosphere. You know, it's more people, uh, but you know, we'll have 700 tickets. Tech will have 700 tickets, and beyond that, it's just mostly baseball fans. Whereas, you know, in 2010, we had to win in Austin, and 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 this year, you know, we got to do it in front of our fans, and it was an intense, positive atmosphere. So, um, you know, they they already appreciate our fans greatly.